Today's topic is a simple, inexpensive drink that can have dramatic effects on feelings of stress, depression, and even your weight loss efforts. The drink is green tea. Now, green tea is super common and well known here in the US and even more so around the world. And a lot of people know it as um, healthy, but they don't really know why. So let's quickly talk about what the benefits of green tea are for us. Green tea is packed with antioxidants, which helps remove toxins and waste from our blood, as well as reducing inflammation and even preventing some forms of cancer. Antioxidants are the cleanup crew that goes around cleaning out waste from various cellular processes. Green tea is very high in one antioxidant in particular. It's a catechin known as EGCG. When we drink green tea, this EGCG we consume actually prevents formation of free radicals, which protects our cells from damage. There's something else in green tea that is great for us too. It's an amino acid called L-theanine, which is proven to have positive effects on mental state and brain function. In 2016, a study reported that subjects who consumed a drink containing high levels of L-theanine had lower cortisol levels. These participants were significantly more relaxed after performing stress-inducing tasks when compared to those who took the placebo. This is huge for mental health research and very promising for future management of mental health conditions with natural remedies. Cortisol is a widely known hormone that is part of our body's response to stress. When something stressful occurs, we have what's called a stress response, and that's the body's initial reaction to something stressful. Um, when it happens, your body first produces adrenaline, which gives us that fight or flight feeling, and then cortisol is the next hormone to be released for your body to continue being in like a, an alert mode during that high stress event. The release of cortisol also tells your liver to continue releasing glucose for fast and quick energy. So you're not burning stored fat, which takes longer to convert to energy because your body thinks there's an emergency and there's no time for burning fat. So out goes all of your stored glucose to either fight or flight or run away from whatever stressful event you've gotten yourself into. Now this is normal and it's very natural as part of our evolution as humans, but things have changed in society in today's day and our cortisol levels are often not balanced. For some people, they're too low, but oftentimes they're actually too high. Many people work in highly stressful environments or have very stressful personal and home lives, and this can have a significant effect on their cortisol levels, increasing them more and more and more with continued exposure to stress. With elevated cortisol levels, we will constantly be in a stress response. If we don't manage this correctly, we end up essentially numbing with mindless phone scrolling, diving deeper into work, or abusing substances or alcohol. This alleviates discomfort superficially, but it does not actually address the problem, and it leaves the body feeling even more stressed, and it kind of continues the release of cortisol. This is called a hyperaroused state, and it's a bad cycle to get stuck in. Your body constantly perceives danger, elevating your cortisol levels, leading to inflammation, lack of fat burning, and mental fatigue and confusion. Research is even beginning to see elevated cortisol level in patients with dementia and early Alzheimer's disease. Our body being in that hyperaroused state affects all of our systems, so that's why it's so important to keep our body balanced, which is called homeostasis, and to manage our cortisol levels. And one thing that we can do to try and break that negative hyperaroused cycle and balance our cortisol back out is by introducing green tea for that L-theanine amino acid. And if we make green tea consumption a habit, drinking it daily, we can see dramatic changes in feelings of stress. There was even a study in Korea that looked at individuals who had a habit of drinking green tea daily, and this group of people were 21% less likely to develop depression over their lifetime than those who were non-tea drinkers. That's about the same effect as getting two hours of exercise per week. That's pretty interesting. There's definitely more to be researched, but this is promising information for preventative medicine. We're so used to treating the depression, the anxiety, and the dementia once it has already been diagnosed. But maybe drinking green tea could be the way to prevent people from being plagued with these really debilitating conditions. 
Let me know what you think about green tea in the comments below. Maybe you already drink it. Um, maybe you're gonna introduce it into your daily habit. Um, it's all great for preventative effects, so give it a try. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be well, and I will see you next time.